reflection of my personality so if in my personality um, if I'm a woman that humanity or that femininity will show in my music very naturally so also is the case with male artists in music when we talk about masculinity and femininity the moment you spoke to me about this uh, uh, concept my attention got drawn to the concept of ragas and raginis. Now, just the name ragas and raginis suggests that there is some masculine feature in the ragas, whereas there is some feminine feature in the raginis. Then I wanted to explore if at all, if there is any association of that kind. And I thought it will be a very interesting approach to the concept. I don't have words to uh, really express my gratitude for the women artists of the yester generation. They did what was, what was not acceptable in the society, what was perhaps taboo. They have sacrificed so many virtues of their lives in order to for the in uh, for the pursuit of music as female musician i will be as indebted to them as i am to perhaps god for giving me this opportunity to be in indian music in indian classical music all the same i want to um, also express another point in this regard See, when the music uh, shifted its focus from, say for example, Bhakti to Shringar, there were no female vocalists, there were no female musicians. All of them were male musicians and yet they depicted female um, emotions. So it was, uh, um, it was on the basis of those, uh, what shall I say, bandishes, on those bed of emotions that we as females can start expressing ourselves. So I am equally indebted to the male musicians of yesteryear, I must say. They taught the female musicians. They were gurus. So I, I am really amazed at how they have achieved to do this. You know, keeping uh, the quality of, uh, keeping the, the core of the, the music intact and yet uh, making amendments for the music to suit the, the femininity or the female uh, throat, voice. But speaking from my grana, Ustad uh, Aladi Akhasa, he taught Mogubai Ji, Mogubai Kurdikar. He taught Kesar Bai Kerkar. Now, both these, they were like, you know, the, uh, the left and right of uh, our Gharana, who carried forward the legacy of Khasan. Now, this legacy through Mogubai Ji flew down uh, 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 to Kishori Tai, Gharana Saraswati Kishori Amunkar. My mother, Srimati Manik Bide, learned from Kishori Tai and I learned with my mother. So in this way, the legacy has come down to me and I'm very proud of uh, my legacy. It's been an all-female legacy. Yet, I must not, I mean, there is an equally um, strong 
male legacy also in the gharana which i must not not mention speaking about my mother uh, i have always had my mother in my life as the main pillar of strength behind my musical personality she was the one who trained me she she was the one who not only trained me into music but uh, she she influenced my personality in many ways like for example when i started learning from her it was not easy uh, the stylized jaipur gaiki it, it was uh, i mean it was thrown to me like uh, like a like a treasure and i was like uh, somebody who would who would be bewildered by for example alibaba's cove opening to me and i didn't know what to do with it and it was she who showed me the nuances and everything very little little subtleties the nuances and also how humbly to approach it also so all that training she has given me i must also make this point over here that uh, not just as a guru but i have seen my mother leading the life of a life of an ace disciple with kishori tai and i have um, very high regards for her at that uh, for that and i think for me she was a role model as a disciple and now also as a guru so i follow her i try to follow her footsteps in both these aspects i think i must make a point here that i treat every rag or ragini as an independent individual it has a personality of its own when i'm saying it it may be he or she a rag or a ragini and uh, it being a male rag or a female ragini doesn't come in the way of me making friends with that that uh, rag or ragini because i think just like an independent individual for somebody in my skin to be friends with some some another person it is uh, i mean there is no logic to why i become friendly with one somebody and why i do not get along with somebody a uh, someone else it's 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 as if the wavelengths match and uh, i don't think the masculinity or femininity of the rag or the ragini come in the way of me making such connections as regards the character or the attribute of the rag or the ragini is concerned i think it's the total effect of the various notes that the rag or the ragini carries or is expected to carry and when i was sitting uh, uh, with uh, experiments with uh, trying to experiment with the femininity or the masculinity character of that raga somewhere i started feeling that some of the notes might have this uh, feminine character or masculine character i am not very ready yet to talk about it because my thoughts are not crystallized fully crystallized but yes in our scriptures in our old books the swaras the various swaras are attributed to qualities for example the rishabha the ray is uh, attributed to valor the ma madhyam is attributed to hasya rasa or the pancham is attributed with uh, uh, shringara rasa the dhaivat is associated with the bibhatsa rasa nishad is with komal with karuna rasa etc so it set me thinking whether some of these notes can be associated with masculinity or femininity characters even if i can uh, draw up a conclusion regarding the masculinity or femininity of a note it's not as simple as that because the rag in itself is a combination of uh, so many notes and the inter notes relationship so i think in totality it's as complex as a independent individual now me i am a woman but you cannot say that i do not have any masculine characters so is true of any other man even if he has masculine characters we cannot say that he is he is devoid of any feminine characters 
so i think it's a it's a holistic effect of uh, so it's a it's a plethora of uh, so many associate associates so many attributes and uh, what comes across well so what comes through is the raga as a whole and as an independent individual and it's as specific uh, as the uh, personality of the artist i feel some artists are very friendly with some ragas they are they have their favorite ragas i always compare this with you know uh, like i am a, Um, I have my favorite ragas. I have my not so favorite ragas. Although I have learned them, I they're not very close to my heart. I don't do them very often. You find this with any other artist also, because the same artist will keep repeating the same ragas because they are very dear to him. They are very near to him because their personalities match each other. And uh, I always say this, uh, give this example of. You know, um, there is. I have a neighbor who stays next door. I know his name. I know his face. I know his likes, dislikes. I know his general personality, but I'm not friends with him. Yeah, somebody who is not even staying in the same town as me, and somebody whom I don't even meet once or twice a year, is still very friends with me. So being friends has got nothing to do with. close association or proximity it has got to do with how you click so i'm looking forward to the gayatri festival happening on the 18th and the 19th of this month and hope to see you all there thank you